In this video, we're going to see how we are going to move the ball around with the team while still keeping our formation. Think of it as playing a game of keep away with the other team. So we see here us starting from our starting position and then we'll move the ball around like the arrows are suggesting. So the mid starts first with the ball and he moves it to either left or right wing and then the left or right wing can pass it to the center. If the center doesn't have a good uh, opportunity to strike, he can move it back to the left wings and then back to the mid. And we're going to keep moving the ball away from the other team, back to defenders and even back to the goalie. Now look in this demonstration how the defenders follow the mid and adjust their position following that mid in case he needs to pass back and then um, the sent the left and right wing adjust their positions as well to get within passing distance let's look at a simulation now with a team defending we'll always pass the ball back to the mid and the mid will try and find one of the wings and as they pass to the wing the wing person will see maybe in this scenario is getting blocked he cannot make a good pass to the center so he passes back to the mid and the mid passes back to the defender keeping the ball away from the other team now goalie watch out when you get a pass from a player in your team you cannot use your hands you have to use your feet and pass the ball with your feet now the goalie moves the ball over to the other defender and the other defender tries to pass either to the left wing or to the mid. The idea is to keep the ball away from the other team and find an opening for us to easily get to score. In this next simulation, we're going to look at how we move the ball up towards the center and we try to get to a scoring position and as we move the ball up uh, you have to be mindful make sure that your player is not offside when they're receiving that pass like in this example now do note that um, this is very close i don't think our referees will notice something this close but try not to make a pass if it looks very obvious that they are past the last two defenders now in this last simulation, we make a successful pass over to the center where our center striker can take a shot at the goal and that's what we want ultimately. Do note that it does not have to be only the center striker taking shots at the goal. Left wings or right wings or anyone in the wings, you can take a shot at the goal. Remember what I say, if you are within shooting range for yourself, take a shot at the goal every time. 